Hello friends, I am Pooja and welcome back to Palette and Brushes. Hope you enjoyed the demonstration in the last video. Now there might be many queries whenever you look at the watercolor paintings. The basic query might be the art supply required. Now art supply to paintings is as important as ingredients are to recipe, to any recipe. You might be a great chef, but if you don't have the right ingredients, your recipe might go wrong. So let's have a look at the basic art supply for beginners for watercolors. Starting with the watercolor brushes here. Watercolor brushes are different than the uh, those you use for oil paints or acrylics, uh, guys. You might use acrylic uh, this for the watercolor brushes for acrylics, but not for oils. And uh, uh, why? Because these watercolor brushes have soft hair. They have soft bristle, whereas the one for oil painting have hard bristles and they are basically made of hog hair or maybe synthetic as well. The, uh, now watercolor brushes based on the hair that they are made of are categorized into either original animal hair brush or synthetic hair brush. The original animal hair brush is said to be the best, better than the synthetic ones because it absorbs more water and basically watercolors uh, work uh, based on watercolors are water based. So, uh, but I find some synthetic brushes good as well and like this one, this is a round brush, it's a synthetic one and it's basically a no brand brush but I somehow can't, I somehow uh, can't get my hands off it it's 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 good for me so also the uh, original animal hair brushes are quite expensive guys so uh, if you're a beginner I would suggest you go for synthetic hair brushes also now uh, the brushes are also categorized based on the shape of the hair this is a flat hair brush it's a flat hair brush and it is measured in uh, it is measured in the uh, like and it is measured as the width of the flat hair the head of the brush and this is a round hair brush these brushes are numbered now this is an eight number eight brush now numbers can be different for different brands like the if you're sticking to a brand then you have to select the brush accordingly this is also a round brush this is a mop brush and a rigger this is a regular. I am showing you the brushes that are basically required for watercolors. You can do with these. So, when you purchase, when you uh, like many online sites offer you a set of brushes based on the different shapes, like you get different shapes of brushes. You don't need all those, guys. Those are they, those are literally useless. Like the only brushes that you might need is a flat brush, one or two, maybe different widths. A round brush of different numbers a mop of course for wet on wet or and a rigger rigger or a zero numbered uh, round brush rigger is basically for the detailings that you do in the watercolor painting there are also brush pens available but uh, that would because the you cannot control you need to know the control of water for that so initially i would suggest you to go with the brushes synthetic brushes basically the four flat round flat round rigged and a mop so so that is that about the watercolor brushes now we'll be having a look at the watercolor sheets another important art supply now the watercolor sheets also are uh, different guys they are not uh, and you cannot paint with watercolors on any plain paper or any bond paper or a cartridge paper like cartridge paper is for cartridge bond paper is for of course bonds so watercolor painting should be made on watercolor paper otherwise you cannot feel the magic of watercolors like this is a plain drawing sheet because basically watercolor papers are made to absorb water and they work by staining the paper they pigment stain the paper now this is a 
plain drawing sheet now you see it has not absorbed the water in the watercolor from the paint now if I add some more water the water remains on the paper so when you paint you cannot feel the magic this is a watercolor paper this is a 300 basically the watercolor papers watercolor sheets are weighed in GSM GSM is grams per grams per square meter look at that the way it absorbs the you add more water to it will give a so that is how watercolor sheets work now this is a 300 GSM uh, watercolor sheet and these are uh, they can be 200 GSM 300 GSM or uh, it is the weight of the paper so it is directly proportional to the thickness of the paper now these watercolor sheets are made from either 100% cotton or cotton plus synthetic this is the okay let me show you the okay this is uh, this is an affordable 300 gsm watercolor paper which is 100% made from 100% cotton there it gives the same effect you add more water to it and it absorbs there and another one this is also a 300 gsm watercolor paper this is from fabriano artistico so basically as beginners you need to have please invest in some good watercolor papers if nothing else you might go for or even brustro is a good brand brustro is a 12 with 25 percent it is made with 25 percent cotton it's a good one and or you can or you can go for uh, some other brand which are made from 100% cotton and affordable and when you're practicing you don't feel guilty about it uh, basically guys uh, the watercolor pigments work with the uh, flow of the water so initially as a beginner you might use any uh, watercolor set uh, pigment set uh, that gives a good range of colors or the basic colors even a camlin Oh, artist watercolor set will do uh, I have been using Brustro initially and uh, now I have shifted to uh, Van Gogh's uh, by Royal Talents so uh, yeah it, it does make a difference the pigment does make a difference initially for the same reason that the professional ones are expensive and not to burn a hole in your pocket uh, go for a simple some simple brand which gives you a good pigment and thereafter you can shift to the professional pigments so that's about the watercolor pigments so that is about the art supply mm -hmm.